Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today we're kicking off the new series of how to make the ultimate 5M RP server. This is going to be from the beginning to the end of literally setting up the perfect RP server for a community. We're going to be doing this through the Cubicle framework. We're going to be modding it, we're going to be customizing it, and we're going to be starting from the main point, which is setting up the server in this video. So to run any community with multiple people that you don't know, hundreds of people maybe if it gets so big, we're going to need a server host because running it on your own PC with your own IP, using your own resources on your PC, or even if you use a different PC on the same IP, it's really not safe because you can get DDoS. People can see where you live. It is not the best idea whatsoever. But don't worry because I have you covered with HT Network. What you guys are going to want to do is hit the link down in the description below. So many of you guys right here to the HT Network website. We're going to come over to the server hosting page. And if you guys take a look on here, we're going to have two options. You have the quick start where we basically set up a package for you or HG Network Gameplex Windows VPS, which is literal just VPS Windows hosting. And you guys can do it all yourself, which is what we're going to be using today. So select the HG Network Gameplex Windows VPS hosting, click buy now. It's going to take you to the page and you guys will see if we scroll on down here, our specs. So we got two vehicles for Ryzen 5900X which is meant for game servers. It's specifically designed. You guys will see a bunch of other VPSs out there with E5, Intel E5 CPUs with four cores. And that is way, way, way worse performance wise than a two core Ryzen 5900X. Trust me, it makes a world of a difference. We got 50 gigabytes of storage, which is expandable, four gigabytes of RAM, which is more than enough, but also expandable and limited bandwidth and some really, really good upload speeds with DDoS protection, which is exactly what you need. But if we scroll onto the top here, you guys can pick from the location closest to you. If you're in the UK, you can pick London, Germany, or wherever. It doesn't have to be in that exact country, but just pick a country that is closest to you. And there's a couple of states to pick from for America as well. All you need to do, pick a state, pick a country, whatever you guys want to do, add to cart. And simply, all you need to do is just check out. And once you check out, you'll get an email from our developers. Give it a couple of minutes or maybe an hour or so, and they will hand you over your VPS login details. Once you guys have got your login details, you're going to head over to remote desktop. So just search remote desktop connection and you click open and you'll enter all of the details that we give you into this box here. And once you guys have done so, you'll be greeted with remote desktop like this. It's a literal virtual Windows PC. This is the most expandable and best way to run a 5M server. You don't want to use cloud hosting that some server hosting businesses offer. It's shocking and you have zero control. What we're going to want to do to get started is right click on our Windows VPS desktop, make a new folder, and we're going to call this folder 5M server. Inside of this folder, we're going to make another folder, and we're going to call it server files. This is a crucial step. Make sure you guys do two folders, and inside of the server files folder, this is where we're going to put all of our base files and folders to actually make a 5M server. So to get these, we're going to go to Chrome on our VPS. And we're simply going to open a new tab and we're going to search for 5M server artifacts right here. Click that, search for it and click the top one right here, the 5M runtime 5M.net website. We're going to click the top link right here, whichever one is blue for you. That's the latest version and we're going to download that. Once that has downloaded, you're going to open it on up using WinZip or WinRAR. WinRAR is already installed for you on the VPS, so it's pretty easy and we're going to click open. We're going to just minimize this a little bit and we can minimize our browser now as well or close it if you want, it doesn't make too much of a difference. And we're gonna put both our server files folder with our 5M server and our new server files download to the side. Control A, the server files download and drag and drop them into our server files folder. Pretty simple and easy. Give it a couple of seconds here and just like that they have copied across we do not need this anymore you can close this and you can delete it from your downloads if you want you're probably not going to need it for a while now scroll on down in the server files folder until you find this guy right here the red icon the fx server.exe it's the application that we use for the first time to start our 5m server on up and it's going to set up a bunch of things for us so just double click this right here and you guys will see it's going to open up a command prompt window it's going to give you a bunch of information you don't really need to worry about where the files are saved etc etc and this is what you want to wait for it's going to ask you how you want to open it 
I always recommend Google Chrome. Click always use this app and click OK. It's going to automatically pop up with TX Admin. We're going to click Link Account and it's going to take you to your forum.cfx.re account. This is going to be the main account you use to run all your admin permissions. And when you guys log in to 5M on the actual 5M application and join the server, you're going to need to log into the same account. So make sure you guys know the name and password for this. I'm going to log in and I'll cut back to once that's done. There you guys go. I have now logged in, as you guys can see. And we're just going to hit continue once you've logged in. It's going to take you to the TX admin page. You can create yourself a backup password. It's really up to you what you do. Just make sure you guys remember it. Since if you do get logged out, this is a perfect way to log in. Make sure you read and agree to the rules and click register. You might want to save your password as well. From here, we're going to go to the setup page and go to next. And we're going to pick our server name. I'm going to do HD network ultimate for the ultimate 5M server guide. We're going to hit next again, popular recipe. And we're going to select Cubicore Framework. This is going to serve as the base for our awesome RP server we're going to be making throughout this series. Pick this, click Save. Do not change this whatsoever. Please don't. It's going to mess up everything. Just accept what it gives you. It knows what it's doing. Hit Save and go to Recipe Deployer. From here, we're going to click Next. And we're going to click this green little hyperlink, which takes us to the Keymaster website. From here, verify you are human and sign in to your CFX.re account that we signed into earlier. Click register and make a display name. Just something you know and will remember. The server by, it really doesn't matter what you call it. Capture, I'm not a robot, and generate yourself a key. Copy the key, come back over to the TX admin dashboard. You can close the key management website now if you want and paste on in our license key. Before we hit run recipe, we're going to come on down to the bottom of our test bar right here. And you guys will see this green little X. It's going to be our X amp. We're just going to open that, double click it to open it on up. Once your X amp has started on up, we're going to click start next to MySQL and start next to Apache. X amp isn't usually installed by default on your PCs, but we install it for you with the HD network server hosting. We make sure everything is nice and set up for you for running a 5M server as possible. From here, now that is started, we're going to make sure that these are started every single time we start our server, by the way. It's our control panel for our database. We're going to hit run recipe and you guys will see everything will start automatically installing for us. It's going to be installing all of our mods and our framework and making our database for us automatically. Pretty easy. I'm going to wait for this to be done and I'll cut back. Okay, there we go. It's done. And you guys will notice as soon as it finished is pop up with a folder. We can just close this for now because it's a little bit confusing without knowing what it is. And we're going to go and hit next. As you guys have done that, it's going to give you what your server.cfg looks like. Put it simply, your server.cfg is your settings file. We're going to edit it using Notepad or through the CFG editor on TX Admin, which is the page we are on now. And it basically configures all of our settings for us. You guys can see here, we've got the server name. You guys, usually I'd recommend deleting this part right here. You don't really want it there because otherwise your 5M server will come up as brackets, cubicle framework brackets, and then the name of your 5M server. Let's just get rid of this. It's not really needed. And then for your host name, we're also going to get rid of this as well. I usually just get rid of this M part. So it just says your server name. You guys can type in whatever you want as well. It's really up to you. And then for your project description, your server description, put whatever you want. I'm going to just keep it default because it really doesn't matter to me and it's actually a solid description to be fair. But you can type in whatever you want here. I wouldn't mess with anything else here. I'll touch back on in a later video, adding your own logos and setting your own locations and things like that. And if we scroll on down here, we guys will see an ensure list, which is basically starting our mods. Anything that says ensure and then a name is starting a mod folder. And under here is our permissions section so you guys will see it says add principal identifier then 5m and then a code which is the identifier for the account we logged into to create the server which is why it's important you log into the same account on the 5m menu so you guys get access to admin super important step right there but that's that we're going to hit save and run server and you guys will see everything will start loading in for us really nice and simple now, there's one more thing we need to do before we can load into our server and take a look. It's going to be doing some general housekeeping, and then we're going to make it so we can actually join our server from the BPS. So we're going to minimize the TX admin dashboard here, and we're going to close the server files folder, 
make sure you guys don't close this. Whenever this is running, it means your server is on. So if you close this, your server is off. Keep it minimized in the background. You can close XAMPP technically if you want. XAMPP will still stay running. But what we're going to do is we're going to open up our 5M server folder. We're going to right click on this start default.bat. I'm going to create a shortcut and we're going to rename it to start server. And then we're going to grab this and drag and drop it onto our desktop. I'm going to just put it next to our 5M server folder. And then we're going to close this on down. I'm going to right click on our desktop, new shortcut. Go into our Chrome. We're going to copy the address bar for our TX admin and we're going to paste it in. Next, TX admin dashboard. And there you guys go. We've made it super, super simple to start our server by double clicking this and accessing our TX admin dashboard. It's not something everyone does, but it makes your life 10 times easier. I can guarantee you that one. Now, the final thing we need to do, I'm going to come to the search bar right here. I'm going to press F. And you guys will see it gives us at the bottom for apps, Windows Defender, firewall with advanced security. Sounds a bit complicated. Just open it on up. It's actually not too difficult. Go to inbound rules and click new rule. We're going to go to port. Next, TCP. And we'll do the port as specific. And we're going to type 30120. Allow. All of these are ticked automatically. And then just put the name as 5M. We're going to make another rule. Port. Next. So this time we're going to select UDP, same port 30120, allow, and then do the same name. Outbound rules, new, port, next, TCP 30120. We're going to click allow connection because by default it turns it off. And then next, call it the same thing. And one more rule, port, next, UDP 30120. Allow the connection. Next, next, and name our rule. What we've just done here is made your server joinable to people outside of the VPS's network. Obviously, the VPS can't play games, so it'd be pretty useful, pretty useless not doing that. And that is something a lot of people struggle with if you run a server on your own PC because they have to change a bunch of settings in their Wi Fi router, which a lot of them cannot do because they don't let you port forward with the VPS. You don't have to stress about any of that. You just do these rules and you're done. But from here, we can actually just close our VPS if we want, and we should be good to actually join our 5M server. To do so, we're going to come back to our normal PC. We're going to go to the search bar, and of course, we're going to start and open the 5M application. It's going to open on up into the 5M menus, just like it normally would. Once you're in the 5M menus, we're going to press F8. It's going to bring up this little console-y looking game chat thing. We're going to type connect, and we're going to paste in or type in the IP address of the VPS. Now, if you guys aren't sure of what that is, then all you got to do is look back on the email from HC Network, which gives you your login details, and it will literally say your IP, and then just copy that and paste it into here, along with connect at the beginning. Click enter, and you guys will see, here we go. We've successfully made our 5M server, and we can connect to it. Super exciting. We've literally made our first 5M server with a bunch of scripts already added in, thanks to the beautiful TX admin framework. Let it start back on up. I had to migrate to a different build since I joined an older server, which had a older build. Give it a couple of seconds here and it should automatically start connecting me to the server. And there you guys go, we're connecting. You can see it's loading everything in and you guys will see we're greeted straight in to our loading screen with some music, with some pretty cool pictures actually. And we are now done for the base setup of our 5M server. First of all, you're going to load into creating your character. Empty slot, create a character, and just call it whatever you want. And click create character. Once you hit create character, it's going to ask you where you'd like to start. These starting locations are your apartment that it will give you to start out. I'm going to do Fantastic Plaza and hit confirm. And you guys will hear the door opening and we are now in our apartment. It's going to give you a little menu here where we can customize our character and do everything we want. So we can change our hair, our clothing. That's what most of you guys are going to want to do. Just customize it however you want. I'm not really too bothered for now. I'll change it in the background before the next tutorial so I don't look so basic. But I don't want to waste your time. So we're just going to hit confirm once you guys have selected what you want. And we can simply exit our new apartment by walking up to the door, hitting E and click leave apartment. And now we spawned in, the main thing I want to show you is how to basically run the server. So press T 
and do slash admin. You guys will see it's going to bring up our admin menu. If it doesn't work and it says permissions denied, that's because you're not using the correct account that I talked about earlier. Make sure you log into that correct CFX account, otherwise it will not work. But once your admin menu is open, we can go through the admin options, such as Noclip, player management, where we can select ourselves, give clothing, open their inventory, we can spectate them, etc, etc, and give them permissions as well if you wanted to. Server management, change weather, we can spawn vehicles, we can buy vehicles. So when you spawn a vehicle, you need to buy it in order to have the keys. Otherwise, when you get out, it will lock and you can't get back in. So it has a lock pick system because in real life in an RP server, you don't want to be able to just get in any car and drive around because that's not realistic at all. And then obviously we got our dealer list, which we will configure in a later video, but it's setting up drug dealers using a command. And then we've got our developer options as well, such as vectors, which we will touch on later on. We don't really need to worry about that for now. It's basically a coordinate. And then we can display our coordinates. We've got vehicle dev mode for vehicle information. And we can enable and disable HUD, no clip, and entity view mode, which is basically viewing objects. And if you guys want a list of commands, you guys can click the link down in the description below and it will take you to the QBCore documents website. And it'll give you a huge list of commands, literally every single command in the game. It's really useful, but one of the main ones you guys will probably want to know is T slash set job ID. So for us, that's one job and let's do police. Most people want to be police, right? We'll do police. And then the grades are one to four and four being the highest, we'll do four. And now we've done that and we do slash job. We should see. There we go. Our job is law enforcement and our grade is chief. And we'll now also get an hourly pay. And we can also access the police garage, etc., etc., which I will show how to configure, set up, and use in a later video as well. Today we're just doing the basic setup. It's pretty simple and easy to do. Our inventory key is tab, and then our phone is M. Nice and easy. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you guys do stay tuned for the next video to come. I'm going to try to get these out as rapid as possible. Maybe not tomorrow because I do work somewhere else as well at the same time and run a business. So I do get quite busy, but I'll try and get it done on Monday for you. So the day after. So literally just a day in between the next video for you guys. So turn on that notification bell so you guys are staying tuned for that. Check out hgnetwork.1 down in the description below for some affordable server hosting and pre-made server packages. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers now and goodbye.